Hey, today we're checking out the brand new Rode Video Micro 2. You'll be hearing a number of examples using this new micro shotgun microphone. And throughout this video, I'll also be giving you a few comparisons to the very popular Video Mic Go To, which came out about a year ago. And so if you're interested in picking up a high quality shotgun microphone and you wanna learn about the key differences between these two very small options, then this is the video for you. This is actually one of the best days to come out because you don't have to worry about cars or anything like that. You can actually enjoy the city, take photos, right. stop and take videos. It's actually really enjoyable coming out on a day like this. And the reason that we're able to actually do a walking test in the middle of Fifth Avenue today is because for the first time in 50 years, New York City is making Fifth Avenue car free. Uh, for the next couple Sundays. So here we are. And, and probably... it makes it easy to test products like this too. Right, because there's no honking. Oh, which... no honking, no one coming up behind you. And you'll never get views like this on any other day. Right. So with Video Mic Go 2, one of the main reasons that it's more expensive is that it actually offers USB-C as an output. So you can plug this directly into your computer and use it as a USB-C microphone. And that has been really clutch in the past for me, especially with this being my one microphone. Just using it as a shotgun microphone as well as for voiceovers, it's been really nice to have that USB-C output. So that's one of the things that this has. Likewise, with the Video Micro, we had the 3.5 millimeter jack on the back, whereas with the Video Mic Go 2, it's on the side here. And that sometimes can be a little bit annoying, I've actually noticed in the past, especially when you're trying to adjust your shock mount. Sometimes, especially depending on the angle of your plug, that can sometimes get in the way. So that's actually an advantage with the Video Micro compared to the Video Mic Go 2. Now, funny enough, after I went over the key differences between these microphones, there was this lady that overheard me and she was interested in learning more. And for whatever reason, I went into full salesman mode. But to have something that's now this small is pretty incredible. And you're still getting really good audio quality. You can get this at any This is about $80. It doesn't have USB-C though. So for example, if you want to do like a Zoom call, you can plug this right into your computer and you can talk right into it, you get really high quality audio. So one of the reasons that I recommend this microphone to a lot of people is if you just want to have one microphone, whether you're using it indoors for your computer, or Zoom calls, or outdoors like this, this is one microphone that can do it all. Whereas with that, you can only plug it in with 3.5 millimeters. You can do a lot, yeah. But yeah, you can pick it up at the and Now, something that's actually cool about having both the Video Mic Go To and the Video Micro To is that they both are the same circumference, which means they actually have the same size dead cats and wind muffs. They can be a little bit tricky to push on because of how tight of a fit they are, but once you get it started, they slip on pretty well. <laughs> so now we've got a pretty insane looking setup now with both the Video Mic Go 2 as well as the Video Micro 2 now recording into their own wireless Go to's. Oh my god, that is so confusing. We are now going to do the distance test with both of these microphones so you can see how they perform as I walk away from the camera. So I'm at about two feet away from the two microphones. If you were to vlog, you'd probably hold the camera at about this distance. We're at a 35 mil, so this isn't the best vlogging lens, but you get the point. So I'm about one to two feet away from the two microphones now. I'm going to get awkwardly close, talking directly into the two microphones now as we're outdoors. There is a little bit of wind that hopefully you're not picking up because we have these two very beefy dead cats on the microphones. But now we're at about three feet away between the microphones about four feet away from the microphones. I probably wouldn't go any further than this with the two um, microphones because that's not really what they're made for. It's for vlogging, whether you're vlogging and filming yourself or turning it around and filming someone else, but you definitely wouldn't want to get much further away than this with the two microphones as a lot of people are staring at me right now thinking, what am I doing? But that is how the two microphones perform outdoors like this. And now Mia is all bundled up. We'll switch the cameras back over to her as we do the walking test. 
to see how well these shock mounts perform. Like we said, it's a chilly day. It's about 35 degrees. And actually, when the video Mike Go To came out last year, it was at about this time, so it was also pretty cold. Although I was in Syracuse, so it was actually much, much colder and there was snow outside. So I'll take this any day compared to that. So Mia, follow me now. So I'm walking backwards, like we were saying, I can't vlog myself with these two lenses, but if you were to film someone else who's talking directly to the microphones, this is what it would sound like. So we're actually going to go into the Microsoft store. There's a really cool, what is it, a McLaren in there, I think? Uh, yeah, I think so. And I think there's a driving or a racing simulator inside that we can actually try out, so we're going to go ahead and check that out. Hello. How's it going, guys? Good. We're here to go look at the McLaren. You going to wear your driving gloves? to restart the car, give me one second. Okay. I wouldn't mind getting one of these. If this is only like a couple million, yeah. I could probably get it. Oh no! So thanks for checking out this comparison between the Rode Video Mic Go 2 and the Rode Video Micro 2. But as you can probably tell, these two microphones do perform pretty closely to each other. The exception is some of the advanced features that the Video Mic Go 2 offers, including USB-C as well as the improved shock mount. Aside from that and aside from some of the size differences, there really isn't too much of a difference between the two microphones. So if you're on a tighter budget, maybe go with micro. If you also need maybe that extra smaller size, especially when the wind muff is not attached, then the micro still might be the better choice for you. But aside from that, if you need something that can also double as a microphone that you can plug into your computer, that's where some of the advanced features of the video might go to might still be the better choice for you. So thank you again for checking out this video. Until the next one, we'll catch you later.